Hello, this is How To Bob, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I change the LP gas valve on an RV. Now, you can see that I have the cover off of my tanks here. So, what I'm going to do is a little leak test here. I've got some soapy water leak detect. I'm going to spray it around all the joints and see where my leak actually comes in. And this is why I had to make this video because I previously found the leak. So. I found the leak right here on the valve that goes back and forth from either tank. It switches the tanks back and forth. You can see it leaking right here. So it's time to remove that valve and put a new one in. So I'm going to start by turning off both tanks. And then I'll loosen the tanks up a little bit. Next I'm going to take my hoses off of the tank each side. Once I get the tanks loose, I can remove the tanks out of the way here just so I can see better. You don't have to take the tanks out, but it'll make it easier for this job, make it easier to see. And then I'll take my bracket. There's just a little bracket here holding the control valve or the switch valve or the fitting here together. Take the two screws out, one on each side. It comes loose now I've got this one right here you can see that it's connected to the RV so I need to remove that one to get the valve out of the way and once I get that loosened up I can go ahead and just spin it around and it'll come the rest of the way off okay now that I have my valve removed I'm going to go ahead and remove the two remaining hoses because I'll have to reuse those on the replacement valve and again those just unscrew on each side so here's a look at the new valve that I purchased online and I'm gonna get started putting this one together but first I want to make sure I clean off the threads it's got thread tape on it make sure I get all the old thread tape and pipe dope off there you can use this pipe dope or pipe dope in a can or you can go in with a tape but I'm gonna start with this pipe dope here Make sure that it is rated for gas if you use tape or any of the pipe dope. This one's pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. It doesn't fit, so I have to take this fitting off. This is a little different than the one that I'm replacing it with. So I have to take off both sides, and it should fit right into the valve once I get it. Get this fitting off of there. Good deal. Now that fits right in. I'm going to make sure I put it in by hand first so that I don't cross thread anything because we're just putting a piece of brass into a piece of aluminum so it could cross thread and mess up your threads very easily and I want to tighten it down pretty good it doesn't have to be super tight because again the threads are pretty weak it's just aluminum it's not something you have to crank down and I want to go around the outside make sure that my pipe dope is covering all the threads and that's good now I'm going to show you how to do it with how to put this together with the brush on type so I'll just go around the threads make sure every piece is covered I want to make sure that the hole in the center is clear so I don't get any pipe sealant down in there and then again I'm going to put this pipe on or this hose on by hand before I tighten it down with a wrench and then I tighten that down as well make sure it's good and tight not too tight and again I'm going to inspect it make sure that there's enough pipe thread sealing on there and you can see that they used a tape on the RV side here so I'm going to go ahead and remove that because that won't do anything but get in the way once I get that done I can put some new stuff on and I'll just use the brush on stuff since I've got the can open and go around all the threads make sure it covers first row of threads make sure that my hole is clear of thread sealer and I can then bring my valve over and put it on by hand first, of course. And once I get a few threads started into the valve, I'll tighten it the rest of the way with the wrench and get it pretty tight. All right, so we have the valve back together now. Make sure my 
thread sealant is all the way around. It looks good. I always use a little bit extra, so I need to wipe it off. Now I'm going to put my bracket back together, just the two screws. They happen to line up. Got lucky here. Screw those in. Once I get those tightened up, I can put my propane tanks back on, get them lined up, and bring up my valve and put my clamp in place, tighten it down a little bit, make sure my bottles are secure, and then I can hook up my hoses on each side. Once I get those tightened down, the next thing I'm going to do is turn on my gas valves. Once I get my gas valves on, I do want to come back in and check for leaks again. So, spray every connection that I have, check around my valve, all the fittings and areas get sprayed down with the soapy leak detect. And everything looks to be good. I don't see any leaks around here. Check the back side over here by the valve. And once I've checked it all, it looks like it's pretty good. No leaks. I'm going to go inside and turn on a gas appliance and make sure everything flows. And that's how you replace the gas valve in an RV. I'm How-To Bob. Thanks for watching.